What's good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode number 11 and I believe that it has been a good long while since we've actually had packages to open on camera like this. Um, I believe it's been a long time, probably like since either the summer or before the summer. So I'm excited to get one of these out to you guys. I know it has been quite a while. So we have four packages here. We have uh, quite a number of figures here as you will see. But um, I'm ex very excited to get into it. As you know, My Damn Hauls is the episode series where I will be showing you guys the packages that I got in the mail, obviously, as well as any figures that I picked up at retail. So let's go ahead and get straight into the first package. All right, guys, starting out first, we have these five Elite 49 Randy Orton figures, as you see right here. I don't know if you've noticed, but on BEW's Instagram, he has been working on 13 or 14 Randy Orton customs for my massive Randy Orton collection. As you guys know, I'm trying to build up um, quite the collection of Randy Orton's like I did with my uh, John Cena figures, but I'm very excited to get those from BEW. He is probably one of my best friends on Instagram. I absolutely love him, so big shout out to BEW. I will leave his uh, YouTube channel and Instagram in the uh, description below if you would like to go subscribe and follow him. He is very, very talented in the uh, stop motion and custom game just a very talented guy overall so i started out with these five i planned on sending these as well because you know um these are all his legend killer era that i have to take care of so um yeah that is the first package that we have up on this episode all right guys this first package we have right here is a loose figure and i'm not exactly sure what's in here i know it's either one of two things we'll just rip this whore right open and as you see they jumbled him all up but nation of domination rock figure um i had a guy approach me on instagram and he wanted me to do a uh a commission of his creator wrestler on 2k so that is the challenge here he has uh the rock style style uh, skin tone so that is the reason for picking this up um i have to remove the trunk decals remove this um, I think there's another package in here that's related to those parts. So that is the reason we picked up this Nation of Domination rock. So now we're on to the next package. Alright guys, this next package is from our guys over at Walkout Wear. If you would like to buy any figures from there, um, use the promo code MDT. You'll get 16% off your purchase. Elite 54, 55, and 56 are all up for pre-order over there. So if you want any of those brand new figures... Definitely be sure to go over there and uh, use that promo code so you can get great prices on your WWE figures. Alright guys, and as you see here, uh, let me get this box out of the way. As you see here, it is this basic Cesaro. So we have this basic Cesaro. Um, the reason we picked this up, we got it really, really cheap. Um, basic Series 67 Cesaro. We got it for the sleeve on the arm right there to put on that guy's custom rock. Um, he wears a sleeve, and it is black, so that is the reasoning for picking this up. Hopefully it works out good, and it will work, but that is the second package on this episode, so let's move on to package number three. Up next, we have a loose figure from Mercari, Mir Mercari, whatever that app is called. Teenage Toy Collector, show me it, and, you know, I picked, this is the first figure that I bought off of there, so let's go ahead and see if it was worth it. I believe it is a John Cena, and yes, it is, and my God, the head is absolutely torn to shit. I can already see it. Um, look at the back of that head. Jesus Christ almighty. Let's get a little focus action on this right here, and look at that head. Lord God. Um, this is a very nice John Cena, however. I believe the rest of the figure is um, in good condition. I really like this attire a lot. The light blue shorts are very nice. And um, I'm not done expanding my John Cena collection. As you will see in this My Damn Halls episode, we have plenty more Cenas to add to the collection. And this is just the first one. So let's go ahead and take you guys to the final package on this episode. All right, guys, here we have the last package, and it is from my good friend, Jake Vinluan, on Facebook. Um, as you know, if you watch any of the My Damn Halls episodes, you will know that he is who I get all of my loose figures from. I have a lot of, uh, I get a lot of loose figure deals from him. He's a very good friend of mine, and he has helped me out tremendously on getting great figures at great deals. So, um, big shout out to him. 
Um, I believe that he has stopped selling figures now, though, so it's very sad. I believe this will be the last haul that I will get from him, but it is a great haul, and it's definitely going to help me out, especially in my John Cena collection. Um, I hate that I just spoiled what is in here, but I think you guys will be shocked at uh, what is in here, so let's go ahead and get this thing open. All right, guys, I know it is blurry, but I did that so that when I put the figure in front of the camera, you will be able to see it. So the first John Cena we have up right here is the second Defining Moments um, loose. No accessories needed, but I don't think I needed them anyway. But here's the first Cena we have right here, second Defining Moments. Very nice. You have the long blue George right there with the Word Life wristbands. Um, I do like this figure a lot. I think this is like the fifth or sixth one that I have now in my collection. So we will sit that one over there to the side. Um, the next John Cena we have right here is, I believe, an Elite 14 with uh, different armbands on it is what it looks like. I do like this figure a lot as well. The shorts, I mean, yeah, the shorts and the shoes look really good. Um, the head has a little bit of a problem, but it has the Elite 40 arms on there. Um, I probably won't be keeping a lot of figures like this. I probably will use them to, you know, make more custom Cenas for my collection. But there is the second Cena right there. Got some bubble wrap. All right, going forward, we have another John Cena, and it looks like it is the best of pay-per-view, I believe. Um, best of pay-per-view John Cena right there with the darker green shorts and white and black shoes with the green armbands. Again, some head uh, problems there, but I can touch that up. So there's the third John Cena. More bubble wrap. Moving on. We have yet again another John Cena, and it looks like it is the Elite 40. And again, in use condition, we do have uh, a little bit of paint chipping, but that, again, is no big deal. I will be able to fix it. So there we have Elite 40. We have the black shorts with the blue armbands. I like this attire a lot. And um, we do get to add another black short Cena to the collection. And there goes some Cenas. More bubble wrap. Jake Vindelon always wraps them up nice. And here we have the Elite 7 John Cena in his 2009 orange attire. Um, there are no arm swaps or anything on this one. So you have that uh, sort of APA color uh, shorts with orange uh, armbands. Um, I like this Cena head scan a lot. I think that it's really good for a serious Cena. you got the black shoes on there as well. The next John Cena we have up is the Elite 3 John Cena. It is with the uh, really light blue pants and the blue armbands from his 2008-2009 run. And this one has a lot of paint chipping or a lot of uh, marks on the torso, but I, again, I will be able to clean that up. No biggie there. Serious head scan again. And again, we have the white shoes with the light shorts, so I do like that combination a lot. It's really good for making earlier scenes. And then right here, we have another best of pay-per-view, it looks like, with the white and black shoes with the uh, dark uh, blue shorts. Not too much damage on this one, so that is good for, uh, I won't have to clean that one up as much. The next Cena we have up is a, I think this is a different Best of Pay-Per-View, or this may be Elite 28. Yeah, I think this is Elite 28 with the blue and white belt and the lime green wristbands, uh, dark color jean shorts and the black and green shoes as you see there. Next up, we have a Elite 34 fix-up is what it looks like. We have uh, some white painted shoes, which aren't painted very well, but I can fix that. And then we have those uh, Heritage arms and then a Jax head scan thrown on there. It looks kind of odd, but um, it doesn't look too bad. You have the camo shorts, white shoes, and then I do love this attire. It's uh, This is pretty much an Unforgiven 2006 John Cena look. Um, basically the whole, tank, uh, whole thing is that way except for the shorts could be a little bit longer but I do like that Cena Elite 34 is nice and then it looks like we finally reached the bottom of the box we have it looks like another best of pay-per-view I think it's the build a figure John Laurinaitis um, we have the red armbands with the crew cut and the longer dark shorts right there with the white shoes Again, all of these will be perfect for building uh, customs, adding to the Cena collection. I think now this makes probably like 70 or so Cenas, so that's pretty amazing. But now we will line up everything we got and talk about it and move on to the end of the video. 
All right, guys, here we have the entire haul all set up. We have 11 John Cena Elites to add to the collection, as well as two figures that will go into a commission order. Not the most exciting haul, but for me it is exciting because I get to add to my massive John Cena collection already. Very happy to do so. You do in have to include the five Randy Orton Elites as well, so I guess you could say 18 new figures here. Um, a lot of which are just going to go to customs. Pretty much all of them will go to customs, so... Um, very successful haul in my opinion, but that is going to do it for this episode of My Damn Hauls, guys. Thank you so much for, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment on what you think of this haul. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.